Hey, Silver Dollar here. Uh, thank you, Dank Owl. So it's the Woodhoots running some Candyland hunting grounds. Sweet. So, yeah, you want to try and get everyone to go in the dungeon at the exact same time because there is a limit on the number of people that you can get in the dungeon. Uh, so you get on your mic and try and hit, have everyone hit the uh, entry key at the same time. Now when you start out, uh, you want to just clear out the entire map um, and then just keep running around the map like you're doing a big train with the group of people you're with. Um, the enemies will keep respawning in the areas uh, that you're not in. So you want to make sure that you stick together as a group uh, unless you have a rogue and then it's okay. See, like, for our, in our case, we have a rogue at the far top there, and as long as that rogue's cloaking, then the enemies will keep respawning. So you just keep running the dungeon, uh, clearing it out. You don't have to worry about the smaller minions. Uh, as long as you're taking out the sort of mini-bosses that are throughout the dungeon, those are the ones that will um, help uh, spawn new bosses. And you don't have to go kill the bosses every time they spawn. You can just keep uh, running your train around and the bosses will stack up so you can stack up about three or four bosses then go up um, and just kill them uh, back to back and that'll save you a little bit of time now this is a good example the boss stacking so we ran the dungeon a bunch then you go and kill one leave the room once everyone's out boss reappears again and you just keep doing that. Uh, I think the most we'd stack up is about four. I'm not sure if there's a limit though. Uh, for the keys themselves, we normally just go on Realmai. Uh, people seem to be offering about one life for them. I think if you offer two, you're guaranteed to get a, get, get a key pretty quickly. Um, I know like all you get out of it is ring pops and candy, so you know for some people it might not be worth it, but if you can get eight people in there um, and everyone's in there for a while and everyone walks away with a bunch of ring pops or candy armor it's decent feed items and it's sort of a fun dungeon to run as a guild every once in a while now I was playing on Archer um, I found it pretty tough uh, I mean just as far as getting enough damage in um, I think I, I was getting soul bound I kept getting drops but I just wasn't getting any um, ring pops or candy coats. Uh, in our group, the wizards seemed to be doing the best. I think Jagannath was on a wizard. Also, we had one boss, uh, one guy playing a knight, and he was getting some decent drops. So yeah, here's uh, I finally got this peppermint egg, um, and then yeah, after about. 50 bosses. I finally got my first ring pop, and I literally I think by this point, Jagannath, yeah, had s about six rings, um, and he was just spell bombing all the time. You would get some pot drops, so that sort of helped, but the purple bags definitely got frustrating. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. So a few days later, I hopped on my wizard. And yeah, within about 10 bosses, picked up a candy coat, sweet. And then I think we did a few more. Uh, we had a mystic um, stasis thing, and then you could, everyone could kind of get their soul bound in a bit more fair. This was to, you know, to stop the spell bombing, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, it's still, I've I personally found it a lot easier just being my wizard for getting the damage. And I think I picked up, yeah. Another uh, ring pop there, and then I think a second ring pop a couple bosses later. So it was, um, yeah, definitely a lot easier on Wizard, and I don't know, maybe it was just luck of the draw, but it seemed to be the case for everyone doing it. So that is the Candy Run. Good little uh, event to do with your guild. SLB DLR.